YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Horse Racing Manager 1. Final stretch. Horse. This game literally has like 10 different titles out there. I never really know what to call it. We're just going to call it Horse Racing Manager 1 because this is the first game in the series. Anyways, um, last video wasn't too bad. Uh, I thought we did relatively well considering the circumstances. So I don't think we have any races scheduled now. Um... So Incredible Do Robin, Good of Fortune, our newest, technically, fall here, Incredible Tank. Looking forward to seeing what she's going to be able to do. All the ladies here with us. Um, golly, that was absolutely loud. Way louder than I've ever heard that. I actually forgot that was a thing in this game. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to... Um, let's see. Uh, I'm not too worried about like our management at this point I think our staff is pretty pretty uh, doing pretty well um, so anybody need a raise here let's see Paul yeah th who's Paul working with Paul is one of our lads I can't remember if he's working with good of fortune or I guess he'll be working with incredible do Robin good of fortune is working with uh, Ted Fernandez. All right, so good fortune. I was trying to pull out my spreadsheet. It's not really working for me, so I'll just have to remember off the top of my head. Good of fortune. Uh, she is our Group One International, uh, Group One International filly here. Four years of age. Let's see what we can get for her. So this is why I need my spreadsheet. There's a couple of things in here that are pretty vital and important information so i guess while i wait for that to pull up let's look to see if we can improve any of our structures here we don't need any more boxes for more horses right now staff buildings i probably will improve this to level three because this will improve the efficiency of our staff and uh obviously we would want that a more efficient staff means we should have better uh results when it comes to training management all of that stuff so um that's about it for now i don't want to spend too much money buying any buildings now this is an example of the layout of all the different things you can buy uh, for your stable or ranch, whatever you want to refer to it as. Everything that's obviously shaded kind of in this lightish green are buildings we've already purchased and everything else that's whatever this color is, I don't know. Uh, these are buildings we still have yet to acquire. And again, I'm waiting until I feel like we can put together multiple wins or multiple money place finishes to start really investing in this stuff. I know. Um, some people may do this initially. I, I've ran that mistake before of just buying all of these and then we couldn't win regardless just because we didn't have the right horses in the right set in the right you know circumstances uh, to give us money place finishes. So having all this really didn't improve anything. So um, something I may look into next. Let's see, Alley proves your fame, fitness training, speed training, uh, anything, solarium, fitness exercises. I'm looking for something with endurance or, um, uh, do I have that? Maybe I do. No, I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't really need any of this right now. So we're going to bypass, and again, my spreadsheet's still taking forever to pop up. I'm going to have to open up on my phone. I was hoping my laptop was going to cooperate with me, and it's not. All right, no big deal. So here we go. Good of fortune. Let's see what we can get for her. Tracks on the right. Race scaling duel. Um, what tracks can she do? And she wants a very short distance, 1,600 meters at Oslo. We cannot do Oslo, um, unfortunately. What else? Rome, there we go, 1,600 meters next month. We can do that. Surface dirt, she likes the sand. Or no, does she like dirt? She does like dirt. I'm looking at uh, the other horse. So, yeah. And her driver will be James Tarakas, always to be in the sulky. So, good of fortune. She is ready to go. Let's go to training here. And that is a big race. Huge race. Two million dollars. No, that's... Wait, wait, wait. Am I reading that right? That's nine zeros. That's nine zeros. I did not say that right initially. 
That's a lot of money. <laughs> that is a lot of money. Okay. Um, so what's her injury? Okay, she's good. So, I mean, as far as training is concerned, we're going to keep it pretty light with her. We're going to train her in... What does she need improvements with? Um, maybe technique? Endurance would help as well. Uh, endurance, probably. Does that cost? It doesn't. So we'll do endurance with her, give her a week off. And actually, Credible Do Robin as well. We want to get figured out. Um, and for her, she needs improvement in her technique. So we'll go ahead and have her do two weeks of technique training, give her a week off, and then we'll come back and see how she's looking. So we'll advance one week. Uh, horse. Lack of endurance. I already know. Construction building is completed. Fantastic. All right. So Incredible Do Robin will keep her in her technique training. Good of fortune. Um, yeah, we're just going to give her this these two weeks off and then get her ready for this race, which should be coming up right now. Well, now it is, I should say. Here we go. It's the only race of the day, the Trot Group 1 International here in Rome. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> And it is a field of 19. Full field of 19. And uh, I'm very curious as to where we're looking. And where is she? Okay, so we're kind of towards the bottom. I guess we're expected to finish. I definitely expect to finish outside of the points. Uh, this is... 10th, 11th, maybe something like that. So, hopefully James will uh, do well with her today. Get her into the money place finish. First place gets $285,000. Second place, 114k. We'll see. Let's see how good a fortune does. Winnings this year, 175k though. So, she has done pretty well for herself this year. Really proud of her. Really proud of her. Now let's see if we can find her before the race starts. There we are. And we are off and pacing in the Group 1 International here in Rome. I think James has her out to a good start here. A lot of those horses are lagging. We're actually going to go ahead and switch the camera angle to see what's kind of happening. They are all taking a Sunday stroll, which is fine. That means better for us. And James looks like he's going to try to keep her right here. I don't even know what position we are now. Probably 12th, something like that. Let's see. Four horses at the front. Five, six, seven. Yeah, like 12th or 13th currently. Um, She's riding hard, but not too fast. 47 kilometers an hour. A lot of these horses are riding too fast. Riding too fast. Hard is good. Riding too fast means you are using more stamina for your horse than you probably should be. Riding hard means you're keeping up with the pace, but um, your stamina consumption is about where it needs to be at. N nothing more, nothing less. So that is pretty good. And I think James has developed a really good connection here with Good of Fortune. So that's why I've trusted to keep him in the sulky until he decides to... I should say until he, his performance starts to drop. There's really no reason to, to swap him out. So, let's see what happens here. Hopefully, uh, he gets some space to make a move. He's kind of boxed in right now. Around the last turn in the stretch, James needs to make a move to the outside. Hopefully, he moves to the outside now. James, move left. Move left. Move left, James. Move left, James. No, James is not going to move left. He's just going to keep her right where she's at and keep her boxed in. Granted, I don't know what the stamina situation is, so maybe this is the best thing for her. I mean, it wasn't like we were expected to win this race. I feel her dropping a little bit. These horses are running much higher. 52 kilometers an hour up there. We're still at 47. I guess this is probably the best we could do. Man, that's going to be whatever that finish is. Yeah, pretty um, pretty casual ride there. 
drive from James. I didn't really feel any sense of urgency. Kind of just kept her where we started. And the race is over. By the way, this happens sometimes. I don't know why. It's like the race doesn't register that it's over yet. And then these horses are just, you know, yeah, that, that happens. So 13th or 12th. Yeah, I guess we finished pretty much where we kind of were expecting. And, uh, yeah, there's really nothing much else to that result. Well, let's get Incredible Do Robin in the race. Let's see. She likes to race on the sand. Short distances as well. Adelaide, I think we can race on that track. Yes, we can. Cool. 1,500 meters next month. We'll put her in that. We'll get um, Nick Rainier. That is the um, driver we've been using for her. Get Nick back in the sulky and see what he does with Incredible Do Robin. Now, her training. Let's see where we can improve her. She definitely needs technique training, so we'll make sure we do technique. Two weeks of technique training. Good fortune. Uh, we're going to give her a layoff. A little bit of time off, I should say. Continue to improve her endurance training. I'm just going to do this training week by week for now. It's much easier to keep tabs on everybody uh, with the training. So technique, advance another week. Making sure I keep that injury level down. Give her a week off. Let's do some more endurance training. We'll do back-to-back -back days of endurance training. Do more technique training here with Incredible Do Robin. Give her a week off, and then it should be her race. So she's good. Good of fortune. Is she sick? She must be sick. She is sick. Okay. Uh, I wonder, is there anything we can do to improve that? Um, I think there is something we can buy for that so they don't get sick as much. I'm just not sure what it is. No, straight line, that's for speed training, taming horses, grooming, fame, and reduces food costs, host other horses, loop track, no. Mechanical walker, fitness exercise, sodium, efficiency, pool. Yes, this is what we need. We need the swimming pool because it increases your fame and reduces the unavail unavailability period after an injury. Or I would assume sickness as well. So we're going to go ahead and make that investment. We're going to buy level one of the... Well, I forgot. We actually... This is a tree. We need to figure out what we need to get the pool. So in order to get the pool, we need to buy uh, this horsemanship building first. And then we would need to get... A grooming room, followed by a solar room, and then a pool. So, the horsemanship, we can get right now. Just see if I can buy level one of that. We'll buy level one. And we'll wait to improve this structure once we figure we can get another win or so. Anyways, Greta will do Robin. She should be up very soon here. Her form's looking pretty good, I think. Let's see how she has improved. Um, her technique is up to 45. Wow. That's amazing. She started out at a rating of 14 for her technique. So that is pretty fantastic. It's a really solid improvement for her. So I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how that's going to continue to hopefully pay off for us. And it is race day for Incredible Duke Robin. Let's go ahead and simulate to her race. Right here. All right, and let's see what we can do. Short field of 12 going 1,500 meters. Uh, we should have a decent chance here today to finish in the money. We're sitting right outside. It's a field of 12. We're expected to finish eighth, so hopefully we can uh, obviously do better than that. That would be the ideal goal. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what Incredible Do Robin is able to do here today. Looking at the rest of the field, she has a chance to do better than eighth, I think. The rest of this field isn't anything super special. So it all depends on if Nick wants to race her properly today, which I think the last time we made a video, he totally just decided to fall asleep at the wheel. Where is she? I hate this part of these races. It always takes forever to find my horse, and I have to just wait till we get there. Where is she? I see her. I see him. And I just cannot get to the horse. Thank you. My goodness. <laughs> Finally, a normal start here. She is rocking the blinkers here today. She's going to tuck inside. Looks like we're currently P6. 
Let's see. Yep, we are P6 currently. Sitting on the outside, I like where we currently are. So if Nick is, well, now he's going to tuck in. This is okay for obviously reducing the amount of, um, you know, wind fatigue she would suffer. Uh, especially if this horse, the 10 horse was going to stay where it was going to stay at and it's not. But now the 7 looks like it's going to try to challenge and take its spot. This position is okay for the time being. But once we get into the stretch, Nick is going to have to move her outside or something. So we're not boxed in and just tucked into the rail, which sometimes the AI drivers will do. They'll just keep the horse literally where it's at. Despite the fact that there's plenty of opening and areas elsewhere, they'll just keep the horse tucked into the inside and just run that way all the way to the finish line. So now we're boxed in. We'll see what Nick is able to do coming around turns three and four here. And I'm hoping maybe something will happen with the horses to the outside of us because right now they're running three wide. Coming into turn four, and let's see if anything is going to happen. See, like now would be a great time for Nick to move Incredible Do Robin to the outside, but like I said, I know how these AI drivers act. It's hit or miss. They're either going to move the horse to the outside or just keep them in single file line like they're doing now. And the only frustrating thing about this is. How, what, what, what? What happened? I mean, do we just. Do we tire out or did he. Did, did he just allow himself to get blocked? Ah, oh, Nick. That's that that's extremely disappointing. He just allowed himself to get blocked and then just settled for it. That's Yeah. Ah, uh, that that's inexcusable. So, Nick, we're done allowing him to take control of Incredible Dude Robin. It's two performances back to back in a row that he has essentially squandered. It's inexcusable, and I am not happy. Not happy at all. Yeah, uh, those those are two really poor performances from Nick. Uh, that's unfortunate. I should have been so much better. We actually had a chance. So, yeah, Nick is not doing too well with Incredible Dude Robin, so we're going to go ahead and find somebody else. Maybe I'll try to have James uh, take a shot with Incredible Dude Robin. So actually, let's go ahead and go to the race calendar. Let's see if we can get her into a race whenever the next race is. Not all, all the way till September. Three month layoff. Actually, we can get her one of these 1900 meter races. These aren't terrible. Stretching the distance a little bit. And what is this for? This is for Doom and whatever. I don't have that in my notes, which means these are tracks that aren't on the right. So that would put us at a disadvantage. Sand down. This is a track we could run at, but the distance is way too long. Um, anything else we can do? Not really. I guess we are going to have to wait. Adelaide, for sure, is one we can run at. 1,500 meters all the way till September. That's the next best one we can do. And we'll put James in the sulky and see how he's able to uh, possibly ring her in. So three-month layoff here for Incredible Do Robbins. So obviously, we're going to continue to just... Work on training with her. And of course, like I said, I like to kind of do it on a week by week basis just to make sure I'm not pushing the horse too much and still seeing some improvement. And usually, like I said, the best way to do that in this game is just to train them one week, give them a week off, train them the next week, give them a week off. Just do it every other. So we want to continue to improve. Uh, let's see. Because she's training with Paul, who's. Technique training is not terrible. Acceleration. Acceleration might help because what's her acceleration stat at? It's at 37. I feel like she could potentially have some speed. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to do endurance. Give her a week off. We'll do acceleration. Give her a week off. We'll do technique. Give her a week off. Come back to endurance. Week off. Acceleration, week off, technique. That should work. In good of fortune, she's still sick. And let's see what's the nearest race we can get her in. Uh, Oslo, that's not a track we can race at. Dude, men, neither. Next one we can do is Rome. Another big race for her. Ha, let's see, let's see. Decisions, decisions, decisions. The Trot International. She likes the dirt. May have to run her back in that one. Seems 
Holy cow. Look at this. The World Trot Derby. We could try to gear her up for that, but I mean, I'm not sure if she's... That's a three-month layoff, and if we train her extensively, maybe she can be ready for that. I don't know. You know what? There's there's still a little bit of time in between. What I think we're going to do... We're going to gear her up. This is tough. We could race her in... On the same circuit a month prior to the World Trot Derby. But if we do that, I'm not sure what condition she's going to be in. Um, can Barra, can we... We can do that. 2,000 meters? Ah, oh, it's a little bit further of a distance, but I'm kind of curious to see a little bit lower competition. Conditions are handicapped. Let's just see if we can try to get a win with her there. Or at least a money place finish, because we do need some money. I don't recall if I took out a loan on this file yet. James Turdock. Get him back on the sulky. Did I take out a loan? Let's go to budget. I don't know if I did. I, okay, I haven't taken out a loan yet, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and set up the training for good of fortune. Uh, we'll probably get her back into conditioning. We'll just have her focus on her conditioning once she gets back. That's going to be the most important thing. And then we'll see how she goes. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I always appreciate your love and support on the channel. Uh, we will be back, obviously, with this very soon here. I'm just kind of doing these recordings in uh, several parts. Much love to all you guys. Appreciate your love and support. And until next time, Horse Racing Gamer sending out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.